Mangler back here with Football Manager 2020. We're continuing the starting the season with Chelsea uh, in the Premier League. We're starting up the season, learning about the different parts in the game. We just did a tactics induction, and we're going to go ahead and read the next email. Next email is the club vision and the results expecting. As discussed in the welcome meeting, the board would like to talk about the group's long-term vision and outline our initial expectations, both for the season and the years ahead. This season's competitions, the club is competing in five competitions this season, the Premier Division, the FA Cup, the Euro Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the European Super Cup. The club culture says developed players using the club's youth system, status, importance, in progress, it looks like they're just telling me about um, the goals, and I can negotiate if I want. Let's see, do I want to um, negotiate any of these requirements? I don't have any problem with attacking soccer, club's youth system, uh, possession soccer is fine, um, signing players under 22, playing entertaining soccer, that's always good. High reputation players is preferred also. Um, Signing young players to develop for profit required. Maximum one-year contracts for players. It's a desired thing. Expanding the stadium within the payroll budget. These mm. all seem reasonable. Qualify for Euro Cup uh, being required. They're reserving judgment for that one. Um, Champions Cup getting to the quarterfinal. These are all good goals. I don't see any problem for all of these. Um, I'll go ahead and hit accept current vision. You have accepted the, it's competing in five competitions this season. All right, all right so next under it. Players are due to return to preseason training starting today. Now would be a good time for you to review your plans for them. The first team squad will be heading for a preseason training camp in Wimbledon, England. Camps uh, will start Monday the 8th of July and last until Thursday, the 18th of July, so only 10 days. During preseason, schedule that greatly increases fatigue will benefit the player's fitness, with them being able to stave off fatigue longer into the season itself and reduce the chances of becoming jaded. During the season itself, schedule that greatly increases fatigue will increase the chances of the player becoming jaded. This shows the initial schedule as a tactical. Um, the impacts are negative towards injury risk. Oh, if you choose tactical, oh, I can choose, I can choose light, normal, heavy, tactical, or technical. Um, well, let's see what light looks like. Light looks like it's uh, less condition and fatigue and more happiness. Normal, less happiness, more fatigue. Um, harder conditioning. Heavy is lots more risk condition, less happiness, but more sharpness cohesion. So I like the idea of sharpness, but I don't have, I don't think we have that many players. We don't really want to get anybody hurt and we have no ability to uh, transfer new people in because I think we've got a, a ban until the end of the year. So let's see. Um, Let's see what we can do. I think tactical looks pretty good because you can get cohesion, happiness. Um, ha you know, it hurts them a little bit. Let's see with technical. Oh, that's even more. Um, it's kind of like a medium slash heavy. Uh, I like the tactical is fine. Um, we can also arrange a friendly. Um, let's arrange a friendly. Sure, why not? Home, nine min 90 minutes only. Um, suggested teams, um, let's pick a, let's go ahead and go with our team because then we can, we can get two for one. If we get our under 18s, then there's no fee. Sure, why not? So now we've got a friendly with the under 23s and then a couple days later under under 18s and we're proposing it so arrange another friendly hmm. 
Oh, you can do another one for Saturday. Uh, let's not do that because then we have too many games going on. All right, there's the schedule. Preseason fitness report. Uh, they're reporting that Pedro Caballero, the goalie, Batshuayi, Emerson, and Kovacic are in top condition. And we still have Loftus Cheek, James Hudson Adoy, uh, Marco Van Ginkel, and Rudiger are still injured. That's nice. All right. Squad rules minimum 25, current or minimum 15, maximum 25. Currently, you only have 20. Players trained in England for three years before their. 21st birthday, minimum eight. That's one of the rules in the Premier League squad. We only have five on the team. I wonder what how we're going to make that work. The Euro Cup rules are we have to have between 15 and 25. We have zero right now. I guess that means um, we haven't qualified or something. Um, goalkeepers currently don't have any. Uh, probably the same thing. We have to have a minimum of two. Players trained by Chelsea for three years between their 15th and 21st birthday. Minimum four. We currently have none. So basically, you have to have a couple new people or young people on the team. Um, and then the players trained in England for three years between 15th and 21st. You have to have at least eight. That was the same rule as above. Uh, all right. Let's see what's next. English transfer window in progress. Bring you up to date with the signings so far this summer. We got uh, Hazard was gone, uh, Harry Maguire is gone, and Nicholas Pepe is gone. Looks like we got 111 million out of Madrid for that, 103 million Manchester United, and 93 million to Arsenal. Wow, that's good. The biggest spenders were Manchester United, most active was Brentford. I'd like to formally introduce you to our new scouting center and the team behind it. The club's ch chief scout, Scott McLacken, McLacken, currently oversees all scouting tasks. You're free to take over responsibility at any time. Any re existing reports on players that the club has previously scouted are located in the scouting center. Um, scout, your scouting team is responsible for identifying potential additions to your squad. Assignments and reports are undertaken and filed by a dedicated staff covering a wide area in search of the very best players for you to consider bringing into the club. Scouting centers where you will receive recommendations and reports for players. You currently have 10 recommendations to view. Each scouted player will be rated, rated by our scouts from 0 to 100. Packages owned determine the number of players available to search through, as well as increasing the knowledge level and player role visibility of players covered. Youth packages cover players 21 and under. So I can choose here, it looks like, uh, which package I want. Do I want the world package, the Europe package, UK and Ireland, England, Premier Division, Prem uh, and this guy would change. Uh, I think let's go ahead and just get the world one. It's only 309,000. That's nothing for, compared to other soccer players. Um, the youth package, similar options, similar. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the, the most. No reason not to. Take an induction. That shows me how to use it. All right, club scouting act as your hub for scouting related tasks you receive notifications for recommended players I already said that when scouting is being handled by somebody else you can still instruct the recruitment team to focus their attentions on a general or short-term focus this is an example it looks like recommendations are made in the form of a concise report cards with key information about the player easily accessible to allow for quick decision making it shows the card, shows the player, shows what they knew, estimated salary, estimated cost, number, score, 
pros and cons. You can do all this stuff, it looks like. Um, inbox delivery options. You can verify how you how frequently you want to get uh, email recommendations. The transfer window is currently open. This must be old because I oh well it's open but I can't actually uh, view any players. I can't actually get any players because our uh, we're banned till the end of the year. What type of recommendations do you want to get? Minimum, what do you want? Analyst team, recruitment team, agent offers. Ensure that you're only contacted by agents about all players, future prospect players. Transfer. Oh, so it's just a, basically a filter system. There are some associated responsibilities in that area you may wish to delegate if you current, don't currently have the time to go through the full induction right now. Good to know. Um, let's go ahead and go to the scouting center right now. And where is that filter? Right here. So, right now, what kind of recommendations do you want to receive? Um, let's change this from 60 to 70. Um, analyst team, recruitment team. I guess these are different people. Only contacted by all players between 15 and 45 free agent offers. Uh, what are advanced filters? Whoa! Scouting team. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of options here. Wow. All sorts of different things you can do to cut it down. Since I don't have any specific needs, I don't think I'm going to uh, separate it for now. Uh, cancel. Alright. Um, transfer budget, $162 million. Wow, that's a lot of money. Payroll budget, 56.8. 53.6 million. Oh. I'll have to figure out how that works. Here's right now they're showing me cards. These are a bunch of uh, players. Here's one. He's a midfielder, 18 year old. Um, his current ability is two and a half, and he could be. Three and a half is only two to three million. I guess he's an 18 year old from Belgium. Lack of balance can make the player look unsure when in control of the ball. Not easily fitting to a social group, but lots and lots of good things. So this looks like a pretty good uh, player. I'll go ahead and add this to the shortlist and hit acknowledge. Um, this guy's four and could be up to a four and a half recommendation 100% cost 300 million oh my goodness salary 13 18 for an attacking midfielder already contracted to Manchester City until 2025 um, I'm sure he'd be a superb signing but at that price I don't know I'll go ahead and add them to the shortlist just because the ability is four and a half. I don't think there's, that seems pretty high. It can't get much higher than five, right? Uh, Gabriel Jesus from Brazil, 22 year old striker, superb signing, three and a half to four and a half, 86 score. This looks like a superstar right here. Um, it's not that expensive, but they don't want to sell him. So Manchester City probably don't want to sell him. So I'll go ahead and add him to shortlist and acknowledge him just to keep an eye on him in case we find him later. Here's a goalie, Onana from Cameroon. Three star to three and a half star. Spirited 23. Um, not too expensive, but dubious transfer interest. I like his 
possibility here. Here's an 18 year old forward and his potential is up to three stars. I wonder what the black means. Is that also potential or just unknown? Um, this guy, he's not too good now, but he's only 18. He has to work on improving crosses. Um, I'll go ahead and call it, say, keep scouting. You'd like to scout this player for the period of time specified in the scouting center profile preferences. Despite this assignment being within the scouting range, there will still be cost for the club finances due to travel accommodation. I'll say it's keep scouting. Yes. Um, this guy's a 17 year old winger, a two to a three. Again, I don't know what these mean. Um, I'll say I have to show this acknowledge. Um, here's one, a two and a half to a three and a half star player. 20-year-old midfielder from France, and I like this one, right? 31-year-old um, center back. Hmm. I heard that defenders get better with age. From Argentina. Um, I'll add him to the shortlist and I'm going to keep scouting. Here's a midfielder, 18 year old from Hungary, two and a half star to three and a half star. Um, add to the shortlist. 19 year old midfielder, one and a half to two and a half from Kenya. Would probably fail to gain a work permit. Mm, let's just acknowledge that one. Move on. All right, so. We did some of the scouting stuff already. Now there's a training induction. The time you spend on the training ground, ground with the players provides the foundations for long-term success. I think now would be a good time to go through the ins and outs training with you. Whether you want to prepare your team for the next match or develop your players for the full potential, training is key to get the most out of your squad. All right, so here's responsibilities. Set up individual training with youth squads, coaching staff, sure, why not? Uh, go ahead and take the induction here. Your primary tactic defines the tactical ability of the club and will help to determine the type of training to, type of training to plan. You're also able to select up to two other tactics that will be trained for the purpose of gaining tactical familiarity. Preseason tactical early. All right, there's a calendar. That's I'll automatically plan training based on the needs of the primary tactic as well as the stage of the season and my own personal preferences. But you're free to change the sessions at any point. Days are made up of three sessions, two base sessions and one extra session. Different sessions will have different impacts on things like attributes, tactical familiarity, and injury risk. Impacts vary depending on which unit a player is in. The unit which is the primary focus of the session will see the biggest impacts. You can devise your own tailored training schedules from scratch or choose from a curated list prepared by the coaching staff. The next step is to start to devise your own tailored training schedules. This will allow you to really get into detail ahead of every match and ensure the players are properly prepared when also continuing to develop their individual games. The easiest way to get to grips with training schedules is to take a look at some of the plans we're going to get into our system. From there you can begin to understand them better and make judgments as you deem necessary. listing off the tactical styles, all the styles that we talked about earlier. Pick a category you'd like to look. Don't worry about creating a new one for the time being. You can do that when you're a little more up to speed. There are some associated responsibilities in this area that you might wish to delegate, even if you don't currently have the time to go through the full induction right now. Plan general training, individual training, general training for youth, and individual training for youth. All right, 
So I'll go ahead and hit, click on training. I think we've already been there. Oh, okay, so we're here on uh, primary tactic. That's the one I chose, 4231 wide. Gig and press. Right now, the training performance best is Pedro. The worst is Christensen, the defender. That's nice. Um, there's the calendar. Okay, next. Continue. Now they're showing a bunch of social media. So this is like my uh, news feed here. Social feed, they call it. I can choose subjects or people to follow. So I can specifically choose specific people in case I want to look up